Hey guys, welcome back to the Mully Stash Show. It's Monday night at about 7.40. Um, as promised, there was a winner from our contest yesterday when I put the cultural reference on my bag costume. Uh, so a big shout out goes to Big Talker 1986. I guess he talked his way into a big win. Uh, so anyway, for those of you that were unsure, the reference was Alex from A Clockwork Orange. And since Big Talker was the only one to actually follow the directions and post it in the comments, I decided to do something even more special. Instead of giving him just a shout out, I am actually going to personally send him my costume from the Molly Stash Show Much Loved Episode 11 which was yesterday's episode. Anyway, I will personally send him this bag that I wore and it's going to be personally autographed to Big Talker. So way to go Big Talker for it all in directions and way to go for the big win. Uh, for the rest of you that may or may not have guessed it but sent it via private message or text message, that wasn't the rules so maybe better luck next time. However, this actually motivated me and uh, we discussed it and over here at Mully Stash productions we decided we're going to start having some contests more often so that is one thing you definitely need to stay tuned for and check back because we will randomly have concerts so way to go big talker and i really hope you enjoy your prize in fact i hope to see a video with you in this autographed awesomeness anyway so today i have a special surprise for all you guys and and it's really a life skill i am teaching you it's, it's very good to have. Everybody needs to know this skill at some point in their life. So without further ado, I bring to you, ta-da! What is this, you ask? Well, today we're going to teach you how to make two of Molly's favorite cocktails. So I guess one for the disclaimer must be over 21 to enjoy or whatever the age is where you need to be. And secondly, please drink responsibly. So, there is sort of a problem. Mully misplaced his shot glass, but it's okay. He found the cover from one of those cocktail shakers, and it's about the size of a mustache. Uh, nope. Sorry, guys, it's been a long day. That's why I'm starting so late. Uh, this is about the size of a shot glass. So, anyway, the, the best favorite cocktail of Molly's is the Rusty Nail. And you know Molly is a scotch drinker. And luckily a Rusty Nail is scotch and more scotch. When I went to bartending school way back, way, way, way back, the teacher told us to remember Rusty Nail with scratch and die, scotch and drambuie, because if you get hit by a Rusty Nail you will scratch and get scratched and die. Um, it's just one of those monomics you remember over time. So anyway, when I make a rusty nail, I usually don't use the most expensive sipping scotch. I usually use what I have on hand, usually a, a blended scotch whiskey. I personally like the Doors White Label. Uh, it's good for this. So I guess we will use this gentleman glass. And for the first drink, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And there's different, different amounts of thoughts on how many ice cubes you should use. Too many, you bruise the scotch, not enough, and it doesn't get cold. So I'm going to start with five. I should have used less because they've been sitting here for a little bit, melting. Oh well. So, this is easy drink. This is good. If we ever hang out, it'll make me one. We'll be friends for life. It's cool. Um, girls, this is a good skill to know to make a drink for your guys. Guys, this is a good skill to know to make this drink for your ladies. It, it works all the way around. This is a winning combination. So... Since I'm not really sure how big this is and I have to make two drinks, I'm not going to make this one too strong. So it's two parts scotch. Oops. Well, two parts ish scotch. There's not really any measuring. I'm using the sort of the scratch marks in, in the glass to find out. Um, two parts scotch and one part drambuie, which is a scotch, but it's a, it's a scotch that's a unique blend of aged scotch whiskey, spices, and heather honey. So a honey flavored scotch. It's actually really good. It's also very sticky. So if you spill it out, make sure you mm, make sure you clean it up pretty quick. Alright, as promised, two parts scotch. And you can see this is a little bit more syrupy. 
one part dram buoy. All right, and normally you had a twist of lemon, but Molly is feeling sort of lazy tonight and didn't really feel like cutting lemon, but I have some of this little lemon juice and it's okay because I've seen it on TV, so it's okay to add this in place. So you just give it a little, a little squirt, just a twist amount, and you stir it up. Maybe. I guess I should have thought about that beforehand. And voila. One rusty nail. Now, you can add gummy bears to your scotch, like I had said in a previous episode. However, I'm not feeling it. It's a rusty nail. It's not just plain old cheap scotch. It's, it's sort of classy. I mean, it's in a gentleman glass, so no gummy bears tonight. But if you do add gummy bears, always six, always to scotch, not to anything else. So that's taken care of. Now the second drink, Molly's second favorite drink, and this is very close second. Uh, it's called an old fashioned. Wow, I haven't even drank it yet. Maybe, maybe that's my problem. So there's a few ways to do this. When I start, I always use like a Seven Up. Some say use water or seltzer, but just Seven Up. I use just a splash. Just, just a splash, just enough to melt a sugar cube. So, we put a little bit of liquid in the bottom. We add a sugar cube to it. We add some bitters. And I don't actually know if bitters go bad, but I think this was my parents' bottle from when they were my age, and I think I probably commandeered it when I left um, years ago. But it should be okay. Tastes a little weird, but I don't I mean it's alcohol. Ooh, it doesn't really go bad. Anyway, I do one splash if I'm feeling okay. I'll do I'll do two just for fun. Um, I'm not real into the heavy bitters. Some people are. Um, not so much me, but you know it's your taste. Start with one. Start with two. Probably start with two. Then you can see. Um, this is called a muddler or a little baseball bat. And you just sort of sit there and muddle this until the sugar dissolves. Uh, sometimes they have those glasses that you can see the rocks glass that have like the round ice cube and they can spin around well. Those don't really work so well to muddle in. So you just got to sort of do what you can do. Um, so you muddle that a little bit. And then I really prefer to use rye. And I don't have any special rye I use. I just this is the rye I had, um, but other people make it with bourbon. Uh, some people make it with bourbon and then fill it up with Sprite at the end. Uh, some people make it with whiskey and then add squirt and then they call it a whiskey old fashioned sour. I think that's actually a Wisconsin drink. Also, that was a thank you to Big Talk in 1986 for that. Anyway, so we do that and then I usually put two shots of rye whiskey into it. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. So there's that. And this is good rye, so I usually don't mix it. I usually sip it, but I'm sort of out of my mixing rye. So we'll use that. It's whatever. Give it a little stir. All right, so once that all sort of incorporates, and some people do this different ways, and sometimes you add the ice first, sometimes you don't. It really depends on your mood. Um, tonight I am not going to add the ice first. I'm going to add a maraschino cherry first. One or two, doesn't matter however many you grab. Sometimes you can use a little bit of the cherry juice if you want to, just for little funsies in there. Again, you don't have to. Uh, so you stir this up, add the ice. Oh, this ice really is melting. Oops. Slippery. All right, and voila, one old fashion. So, uh, a good personal friend of mine suggested that I don't drink on camera. He also suggested that I don't eat on camera, and whatever. But, um, so the cloud. This is to you. Hmm. Hmm. really good. If you're patient enough, you can wait till the ice melts 
and then get your cherry out. Or you can just dig around and get it. But, and, uh, okay, that one was to the cloud. This one is to me. So, Molly, cheers. That's really good. Sometimes what Molly does is he takes a measuring cup and he measures two to one of scotch and drambouille and then I put it in a decanter so it's ready to go, you know, and shake it up, whatever, then just one of those decanters and then when you're ready to go in a, in a pinch, you just grab it, do that, give a little twist of lemon and call it a day. And I think I'm going to call it a day and I, uh, I'm going to go finish enjoying my drinks. So for now, uh, this is the end of episode 12, and again, a big shout out to our prize winner, Big Talker 1986. You won the awesome prize, Molly's personal costume. So, until next time.